Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my devlog. Uh, in the last part, we uh, or I showed off my uh, basic text box. Um, in this or in the past few weeks, I've added uh, some padding to the text box so I can, you know, uh, make the text start in and down and make it end, uh, you know, in and up or whatever. Um, I've added an actual text box image so it looks better, um, and I bounded it to the character so it actually moves with the character in cutscenes now. Um, as you can see here, um, you can see the uh, like the text box clipping and whatever, or the with the padding and whatnot. So like it starts here instead of starting like right here, um, which is nice. Um, the only thing I have left to do is basically change the font size so that you don't get stuff like this. Um, I basically just have to have the right amount of padding and have the right font font size, which I can probably do mathematically. Um, just need to get the height of the actual of the line, um, and then just uh, make sure that the height of the line divides into the height of the text box uh, evenly. Um, but then you scroll through it, and it's just a basic text box. Uh, I also have to add, so like when the character goes like over here, I still want him to be able to have text boxes. But how it's set up right now, the text box will be off the screen. Um, so I'm just gonna have this image be flipped over, um, and it will just be. Um, It'll be flipped and there'll be an offset like off to here. Um, but it'll still be bound to the character. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully I get to work more on it in the future. Um, but that's all I've gotten done so far. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.